Well, good morning, beautiful Sagittarians. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Thanks for coming by today. Happy Saturday. I know a lot of you are busy, Sagittarians, and thanks for taking the time to view, to like, to comment, to subscribe. Welcome to all you new subscribers here. You guys are amazing, and I'm hoping to hear some positive messages. I'm calling on several different decks today for Sagittarius. We'll start out with some astrology because it'll give us a good overall view of what you can expect to see happen. What's going on, Sag? Sagittarius? Mm. Sagittarius, the truth. Saturn returning the truth. Sun, happiness, growth, partnerships. abundance Jupiter returning you something very abundant it could be uh, something that makes you very happy here somebody might be wanting to tell you the truth or the you know the truth yeah yeah the truth the endings and new beginnings card about the truth so what's going on here Oh, something is definitely transformed in your life or will be. Yes, it is two cards of transformation. Something to do with things um, pertaining to your soul. So it's a soul transformation. Whoa. 11th house of friends. An Aquarian energy going, I know. These are the your house of partnerships. I think that, whoa, yeah. There's some provocative energy around you. Or you were provoked to end something. Or somebody might be provoking you. And it could be to do with your house of friendships and partnerships. And you're just sitting here. I don't know. Your finances are speaking loud. You know, you've had a lot of faith, Sagittarius. And it's like you've gone through a major transformation in your life. Two times. Like, two transformations. And I think that these are finding your soul tribe, your soul friends, your soul partnerships. You have transformed your life and your house of stability is major. Like, I don't think you're going to have to worry about abundance. Put it that way, Sag. There's a lot of happiness here in your house of partnerships, in your house of friendships, and in your house of, like, your destined path. Your, you're on your destined path. And it's becoming very stable and very abundant throughout this entire transformation. And I don't know, maybe somebody provoked you into some kind of ending. But with every ending, there is a new beginning. And this one is a very positive one. A lot of positive growth, a lot of happiness. Uh, let's see what's going on for Saj. You know, I think that your soul has gone through a transformation. Like for two transformation cards to come out. It's like you're not just transforming your um, life here, Saj. You're transforming your soul. It's like you're on your soul's destined path. You were like perhaps provoked into ending something, but it has transformed your life for the good. What's happening here? A happy success. Mm. A 
I don't know. What's this? House of friends and colleagues and courage. Kindred partnerships. People that are close to you. It doesn't have to be romance. It's like... It's about friends, partnerships, close relationships. Let's see. Friends and colleagues are here twice. Close relationships. A happy success. What's coming on here for Sag? You were provoked, Sag. You're dealing with somebody who kept going back and forth in your energy. Um... And I think Sagittarius is just, you know, I need something stable in my life. And you have a happy success here. What's going on? Yes. And you're very deserving of this happiness, Spirit is saying. Yeah. Partners. Deception. So this is like friends and colleagues, this is rumors, this is gossip, this is betrayal, and <sighs> the sacred temple. going on okay so it's almost as if someone's intentions are deceptive okay I think that someone has hidden motives okay the hidden motives is like Someone deliberately deceived someone in order to snare someone, okay? It's like living up to the status quo. The, you, you know what I mean? Uh, there are hidden motives behind here, okay? And I think someone deliberately provoked you by gossip, by rumor, by betrayal, to take something that you were deserving of. And somebody allowed friends, colleagues to basically deceive you. It's transformation again. Discovery. Something to do with family and stuck energy. Somebody is stuck. It could be your family or this person has discovered something, some betrayal, some deception. What is commitment here about? Yeah, yeah. They're stuck. They're on the decrease. Okay, if we're dealing with a, a romantic love situation, Sagittarius, this person listened to gossip and rumor about you. The motive behind it was that this obviously third party was feeling like, you know, they could transform their own life for their own benefit at your expense. Something that you were deserving of. And this 
third party's intentions was to take from Sagittarius things that you were deserving of, which is why they are not stuck now on the decrease because they could be in a commitment or feeling like they're committed to family, but this third party had hidden motives, okay? It was to gain at someone else's expense. And the universe is protecting you. And now, yeah, it's about following your intuition and your manifestations. You're very loving, okay? And you have had great gratitude for all the healing energy that the Ascendant Masters have offered to you. And I think that this person like tried to take something from you that was rightfully yours belonging to you and now that's why they're in this stuck energy they could be stuck in a commitment or stuck due to friends and family and colleagues that's what it's all about here romantic other relationships it all has the same energy and I think that through this transformation, you have found your destined path. And now you're getting all these blessings and all this abundance and all this growth and all this happiness. And now they're feeling like a victim. Okay? Because... You started co-creating with the universe, and now they're feeling like a victim. And this person keeps pulling on you, pulling on you, pulling on you. Now, these can be any people, guys. It's like this person is feeling in victim mentality now that they have listened to the deception about Sagittarius and now they have figured it out. Okay? Now they have figured it out and now they're feeling like a victim because they're stuck. And you are just looking out to your future optimistically. You know, there's no one else this is expansion, this is growth, this is all the fruits are on the tree, you're excited about your future, you're looking out to the new life that's ahead of you, you have a lot of expansion and growth, Sagittarius, the fruits are on the tree, you're collecting the harvest, and you're very deserving of this, Sagittarius. Ooh, whoa. There's a loving, there is a loving woman and a loving man in this situation who wants to take the honored path with you, who you're having a new beginning with. Whether you're a masculine Sag, you're very loving, you're meeting a very loving woman and you are going to tie the knot here. You're going to take the honored path with this person. You're very deserving of it. You're very, it's a new beginning. Now, either it is this past person now who wants to come in as this loving, caring man or woman. They're both here. But whatever it is, Sag, if you are not entertaining a past person, this is a new person in your future who you are taking the honored path with. That's the marriage card. This is stability. This is growth. You're very deserving of this. Masculine or feminine sages, you're meeting your partner. It is a kindred relationship that the universe is bringing you guided to in your life. Or they are guided to you. It's a huge milestone. A great achievement in your life. Yeah. 
and this person is sitting here in the consciousness of lack now feeling like a victim why because you honored your higher self this is a great achievement sagittarius and you've got all the four angels all around you guiding you protecting you giving you this great achievement teacher you've learned true love is first self-love mm. ah see the hidden motives this person is feeling the loss of you when you let go and set sail Sag, they are feeling the loss. They've been on the decrease ever since you left this life. And here's the third party. Hiding behind a mask with dark thoughts. Okay. There's professional assistance being involved here. And I'm feeling the energy that this person third party, whoever it is, needs professional assistance because they have dark thoughts. Your person, past person, could be getting professional assistance. I don't know. Okay? I don't know. All I do know is this person now sees who Sagittarius is, and it is these people, this third parties, who are wearing a false mask, having dark thoughts, they need professional assistance because I can tell you right now, maybe a person got professional assistance. I don't know. They're hiding behind a mask. They have negative, dark thoughts about Sagittarius. They tried to steal what was belonging to Sag. That's why the universe stepped in. Your faith, you felt it in your soul. This was a soul um kindred relationships now they can be friends colleagues romantic partners whoever you listened to the universe and that's why you're being rewarded and blessed and now they're feeling in lack and now they're feeling stuck and they're on the decrease ever since you let this person go. They have been decreasing, probably in finances, probably in spiritual aspects, probably just feeling the loss of sad. Well, you've transformed your life. You've had to heal and healing light has been sent to you. You're playing it safe, Sag. You're less like, you know what? I can't deal with this back and forth energy. And that's why it's almost like you're being blessed with a new partner in your future. You've seen your true value. It hurt. This win, this gain did not come easily, Saj. This is something you really, really had to work at. Growth. I told you, growth. Enlightenment. Yeah, celebrating. You know, something has been activated inside of you. There is a lot of growth you've done. True enlightenment. You're activated. You've taken this change and transformed your life. You've had to retreat in order to get this enlightenment. And here we go. Spring. New beginnings. Growth. Happiness. Merriment. <laughs> because why? Gratitude. You've been grateful for everything and everybody in your life. You've been grateful. So it's a, you're grateful for whatever the universe has done for you. You've been grateful for the people that are in your life. 
you have been grateful for all the lessons that you have had to learn and you've embraced them. That's why you got this happiness in your life. Hmm. Transcending. You've transcended by letting go. Love. The wild rose fairy. Love. You've had nothing but good intentions, Saj. The energy of love is all around you with the, the fire spirit. You're on fire, Sag. You're electric. You are passionate about life. You are passionate about love. There is love all around you in your future and joy and happiness. You've taken time to do self-reflection to transcend, to transform, and that's why you're deserving of this. You've acquired a lot of knowledge and you're manifesting your dreams. And you're learning to trust your own intuitions. You're learning to trust, who can you trust? Who is, who is it in your life, whether it's romantic partnerships, friends, family, who you can trust and who you can't. You've trusted the universe. You've trusted your own intuition. You've trusted the process. And that's why you have gained the knowledge and the wisdom and you are getting this joy and happiness and growth and success in your life you're manifesting your dreams because you did the work you trusted the universe and that's why you're gonna have the ten of pentacles commitment The proverbial dream. You've manifested it, Saj. It didn't fall in your lap. A kindred relationship, a kindred partnership. Hmm. You could be this king of coin. But someone is coming toward you, which is your yin and your yang. This is reliability, this is stability, this is someone who is loyal, sincere, for a new beginning. Because you have grown. Look at the growth, the Empress energy. You could be this King of Coin now. Yourself. Or this is this person coming toward you. It is a soul a connection, a kindred partnership, a kindred relationship, a new beginning. Someone who you can grow with. You've transformed yourself into the Empress. Yeah. And why is this other person feeling like the consciousness of lack? because they weren't thinking with their heart. They were thinking with their head and they're like saying, oh, when pigs fly, Sagittarius will never become this empress. They didn't realize you were the empress all along and they're like, didn't believe, Sag. They're like, when pigs fly. They had a victim uh, mentality. They had a consciousness of lack. There's no way on God's green earth that Sagittarius will ever be this. You're like, played it safe. All right. Deceptive thoughts. 
Hmm. They fooled themselves, Saj. They deceived themselves. They were a fool. They took a, believed like, uh, they were feeling like victim mentality, consciousness of lack, uh, listening to other people, maybe friends, family, colleagues, all the rumors, all the gossip about Saj. And then they go, when pigs fly, Sagittarius will never amount to this. Sagittarius will never amount to that. Sagittarius will never be the empress. They were a fool to believe it. They listened to deceptive people, people who were wearing false masks, people who put them in this negative opinion of Sag. Confuse them. I find it funny that they go, when pigs fly, like, yeah, roll their eyes up in the air. This will never happen. This will never, never, never be Sagittarius that has this growth. So why is it that you're so happy? Why is it that since you let go and listened to the universe and you were guided to go forward in your life. Why is it that whatever you've worked on is making you so happy? Why do you have so much growth? Why do you have so much happiness? Why? It's because you saw your own value. The universe knew your worth. The universe knew your value. That's the queen of value. Hmm. This person sits over here in victim mentality going, oh, when pigs fly, that'll never happen for Sag. Sag will never amount to anything. All the naysayers, whether they're friends, whether they're family, whether they're lovers, they're like rolled their eyes. When pigs fly, that'll never happen. Saji will never have this growth. Saji will never amount to much. Saji will negative thoughts. They listened to other people and their opinion of Saj. Well, guess what? Why is it that Saj has so much growth? Why is it that Saj has so much joy and happiness? And why is it that Saj sees their own value and is on a new beginning and has reached empress status this person figured you would never do it these people take it as it resonates when pigs fly mm, universe might have got their dander up <laughs> conflict defeat disillusionment didn't want to see it Negative thoughts. They were thinking negative thoughts about you. All these people buzzing in their ear, telling them gossip, telling them rumors, confusing them. They never thought that Sagittarius would have this amount of growth. Listening to friends, family, colleagues, they were all against you, Sag. They broke your heart, and in so doing, they broke their own. You started co-creating, what says? <laughs> you became single, abundant. What is this thing? Hmm. And now this emperor is seeing you as wish fulfillment, wanting to romance you, wanting to co-create with you, wanting to partner with you. Because you've been blessed. This is abundance. This is financial gain, growth. Happiness, wish fulfillment, you have manifested in your life, Sag, because you didn't fall into victimhood. You didn't fall into consciousness of lack. 
Just because other people didn't believe in you didn't mean you didn't believe in yourself. So guess what? Because these people didn't believe in you, the universe did. I think the universe definitely had something to prove here in Sagittarius's life because they heard all that you didn't hear. They heard the hearts of people, thus can see the souls of people. The universe heard these people talking about you, can see the mind, the soul, and the heart. What is in the heart? What is in the mind? What is in the soul? And saw the negative aspects, the negative thoughts that they were having about Sagittarius. Hmm. Yes. Hmm. I do, do see new love in your future. And it is an emperor who's looking at you as wish fulfillment. But they could be looking at commitment. What's going on? Hmm. They were bored with the offer. Mm-hmm. You might be bored with them now, Saj. Temperance Angel is here. Balance. Equality. Yeah. Hmm. They had hidden thoughts. They started looking elsewhere. They're looking at your success. They're looking at you. They're like confused now. What is this? Yeah. They were tempted by the devil. That's what they did. They figured that they fell into betrayal. That is the Ten of Swords that's come out twice. This person deceived themselves. They listened to all those damn birds that were crowing at them. Saji will never amount to nothing. Saji, you can go out there, start looking for others. You know, the people around them in secret telling them, look somewhere else. You know, uh, you'll be more successful with another option. Go have some fun. Fall into temptation. They did. Started breadcrumbing you by listening to negative thoughts, negative intentions, people with negative intentions. Uh, this person didn't figure out that these people, you know, were trying deliberately to take from this person by taking from you. This is something that you were deserving of, Sagittarius. You worked for it. You earned it. <laughs> yeah. Now this person sees that they could have grown with you. This is love. Unconditional love. You start investing in yourself, Saj. Put the time and energy into yourself. You're less like, hell no. You believe whatever you want to believe. You can do whatever you want to do in this world. And this person had the ultimate here. Love. Happiness. Hmm. And whoever this energy was or these energies were, it is by the words that they spoke about Saj. They were, it, they were betraying. They were being deceptive. All these energies that were working against this situation, it is these people who are getting judged. They were judging you, Saj. The words that were spoke 
made this person judge you. They were judgmental of you. They were critical of you. The words that they spoke to this person, that's why this person got defensive. Oh, they made the wrong choice. <laughs> Came in reverse. Yeah, it confused them. They made the wrong choice. It is about, it was false information that this person was given. It's in reverse. So it's like they were given false information. The wounded warrior saying that, oh, Sagittarius is a player, Sagittarius is going to hurt you, Sagittarius is doing this. Maybe they said, you know, Sagittarius is out uh, playing around on you. Was, this person didn't even have the dignity to ask you, Sag. They had false information. And now they're burdened by it. You trusted your intuition. Made you sad. I mean, it's not something that you wanted to do, Sag, but you had no choice but to walk away. Don't believe in me? Then I'll start loving on me. I'll start putting my love into myself. I'll start putting my time and energy into myself. This person had, you would have had a lot of growth with this individual had they not listened to these people. You would have had this kindred relationship, this happiness, this whatever. You were judged harshly, Saj, by these people's friends by these people's family, by these people who are wearing a false mask. They did it intentionally. <laughs> Fond memories. They're stuck. Remembering you walking away. For what? A lie? A deception? They allowed themselves to believe about Saj without even talking to Saj? Hmm. They didn't believe in you, Saj. It hurt you. It ripped your heart out. But you ascended. You learned your lesson. Oh, what is this? Now this person wants to communicate with you and ascend with you. Now this person wants to, this is a uh, learned a lesson. They want to talk to you. Hmm. They offered very little because of all the negative. These are negative Nancys who they listened to. They didn't listen to their own heart. They listen to the crappy freaking crows, man. Yet this person knew you had good intentions. There's white, one white bird there out of the others that are all beacon off in this person's ear. It, you know what I mean? That's why they offered you very little. They didn't listen to what their own heart was telling them. They rolled their eyes. This will never happen. It'll never happen. It happened. And the universe made it happen. You did your transformation. Endings and beginnings. Wheel of fortune. You've transcended. You've ascended. You've done the growth. And that's why the wheel of fortune is in your favor because the universe knows the hearts of men, women, people. You cannot hide from the universe. All the negative Nancys that were around your life confusing this person. They didn't even have the integrity to talk to you, Saj. 
<laughs> what the hell? Now it's like this King of Wands listened to someone who gave them some kind of wise advice. They're in hermit mode and they're like soul searching. Why are they so lonely? Why are they so depressed? Why are they hermiting? Why is it that when they're hermiting, the only person they're thinking about is you? Holy shit, man. You're on a passionate new beginning. You hermited, Saj. You kept it all to yourself. You didn't be cough. You just did your own thing, got your strength back, and now you're following your dreams, your passions. You're celebrating. You've got stability. And it's like you've reconciled with yourself. And you're getting your wishes fulfilled and granted. Why? You did the work. You believed in your spirit guides, you believed in yourself, and it was okay, okay? It is what it is. I cannot change the hearts of men, women, children, whoever they are. You honored yourself. Loved yourself enough. When nobody obviously did. <laughs> That's why you have the Ten of Cups. Because this is justice, according to the universe. This is karmic justice. This is justice. The universe knew what was going on, your vibe and I. And now this person is getting a reality check. I don't know. Why is it that they want to come and manifest you back? And come rushing in for a new cycle with you, Sag? They didn't believe in you. The universe knows that. They made the wrong choice. You took the honored path. It hurt you. It ripped your guts out, man. It ripped your heart out. But you ascended with the help of your guides. Nobody else was there but your guides. This person now might be getting professional assistance to help them. They rolled their eyes, Sag. The universe saw their heart, saw their mind. They rolled their eyes when pigs fly. You will never have growth with Sag. You will never have this. Never is an awful long time, says the universe. Well, why is it that Saggy has it? Because the universe believed in you, Sag. And you believed in yourself. Period. Take care, Sag. There is someone in your future. Very loving, very committed, and very honorable, headed in your direction. Take care.